Unlike Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, New Vegas' development was not one where time was a luxury. The game was rushed, which meant that quite a few things had to be scrapped. Here are seven things that were cut from Fallout New Vegas. Number 7. When you begin playing New Vegas, you create your character and answer questions asked by Doc Mitchell in Good Springs. Some of those questions are used to select what traits you'll have, though you can still change them after answering the questions. In the game's files, a medical history test can be found, which suggests that you would fill out the form to get your traits instead of answering questions. Number 6. A ridiculously large fire gecko was cut from New Vegas at some point prior to its release. The gecko was named Gejora, which happens to be the Japanese name for Godzilla, and would be triple the size of a normal fire gecko. Had it not been cut, it would have been the strongest creature found in New Vegas. The legendary bloatfly is the strongest and has 2,000 health and does 858 damage per second. Ghidorah would have 8,000 health and do 3,200 damage per second. When asked about the creature, Joshua Sawyer, the lead director of Fall of New Vegas, said that the animators made him for fun and that it would have terrorized Camp McCarran. Number 5. A model for a service rifle with a bayonet and some sort of red dot sight can be found within the game files for New Vegas. How this would have operated in-game is unknown, since no firearms in New Vegas have a bayonet. Number 4. There was a portion of the main quest line, The House Always Wins, that was cut from the game, called Lockdown. You would be inside the Lucky 38 when you somehow upset or anger Mr. House. Your options are to find a way to escape, or wait for the 24-hour lockdown to end, or to neutralize Mr. House on the orders of either Colonel Moore, Caesar, or Yes Man. If you don't kill him, you can begin working with Mr. House again after 24 in-game hours pass. Number 3. Old World Blues is perhaps the best DLC for any Fallout game, and it also contained what might be the coolest set of cut weapons from any Fallout game. The two weapons are the Scorpion Rifle and the Spider Rifle. Both are reskins of the grenade launcher from the base game, but are much more interesting. The Scorpion Rifle would have fired blue miniature rat scorpions similar to the ones you fight. The Spider Rifle would operate in a similar manner, firing spider drones from Fallout 3's Operation Anchorage DLC. The textures for both weapons are reused for a different, more standard grenade launchers found in the Lonesome Road, the last DLC for New Vegas. Number 2. Mr. House was originally going to have two female Securitrons in the Lucky 38 Casino. The first one, Jane, made it into the game, but Marilyn, who was styled after Marilyn Monroe, was cut from the game. According to Joshua Sawyer, there were some errors with her voiceover that weren't able to be fixed, so she was cut. Marilyn's Securitron face texture can still be found in the game, and she even appears on one of the cards in the deck of cards included with the collector's edition of Fallout New Vegas. Veronica, a companion, even remarks, What do you think of Mr. House? I'm surprised he only had two robot sex slaves suggesting that Marilyn was cut rather late in development. Number 1. This one is a little strange. There's a dialogue script found within New Vegas that suggests that you would have been able to seduce Mr. House. The script is as follows. Int seduction. 1 equals house expressed interest. 2 equals invited to secret area. 3 equals has been scanned. It's likely that this would have been only available to female characters with the Black Riddle perk, and would also require you to pass a skill check. If the check was successful, you would enter the sealed off area of his penthouse and enter some sort of scanner, as there is a VR pod called L38 Player Pod that was also cut from the game. Some cut dialogue for Raul implies that you wouldn't necessarily have sex with Mr. House, but he would dress you up in different outfits, as Raul remarks that Mr. House used to scan women's brains and make them dress up in different clothes. Considering Mr. House will die if he leaves his life support pod, it's not unexpected that you wouldn't be able to have sex with him. Still, it would have been pretty weird. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video about 7 things that were cut from Fallout New Vegas. If you're interested in more cut content from Fallout New Vegas, check out this video. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything, leave a dislike. Follow me on Twitter, at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.